I'm joined by Darren Peterson from LG. He's going to talk us through some of the new features on their web OS platform. So Darren, this is quite revolutionary, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, complete new uh, concept for smart TV uh, using the web OS platform. Uh, the way we're um, communicating at the moment is around three key pillars. Um, the first being simple to connect, uh, the second being simple to switch, and the last being simple to discover. So what we're trying to do is, is make smart TV simple, making TV simple again, because over the last year or two, we've all been trying hard to make smart TV uh, you know, very usable, very friendly to navigate menus, etc., etc. But there's so much content now that it's, it is still quite complicated in some cases. Um, so what we're trying to do here is make it as simple as possible for the user to interact with the um, plethora of different services that are now available. Um, so the simple connect um, area will, will allow the user to enjoy setting up the TV for the first time in a really engaging, friendly way. Um, and then when you're connecting different devices through um, HDMI and other sockets, for, for example, um, if you connect a game console like an Xbox or a PlayStation, it will actually say PlayStation, Xbox, rather than just HDMI 1 or HDMI 2. So it's really easy to, to see where your different uh, content is and uh, easy to select it. Um, Simple Select is um, really utilising the uh, multitasking capability of WebOS. Um, so what it's, what it's doing is making uh, switching between uh, smart TV services like the applications themselves like Netflix, iPlayer for example, like changing TV channels. So traditionally on a smart TV you have to um, you know, exit an application, come back to a portal, look for the other application, then, then enter that one. Whereas with WebOS you can be in an application, bring up the launcher bar at the bottom of the screen and move straight to another application without having to do that exit and, and, and searching process all over again. So much more like traditional TV, it's like changing channels basically. Um, and the simple discovery is really about uh, that lean back experience of viewing uh, some content that's being surfaced to the user, which is basically uh, uh, grouped from all of the LG Smart TV users, the most popular shows that they're watching through VOD. So, You'll see a selection of um, VOD programs, VOD movies, um, for you to browse through and, and maybe choose to watch. Well, I gotta say, Dan, I've seen, seen a lot of smart TV platforms over the last couple of years, and this is without doubt one of the most integral to the television itself. I and mean, it seems yeah. like, you know, rather than being bolted on, it's yeah. actually a part of the TV. So perhaps you could give us yeah. a quick demonstration of how it actually works. Yeah, for sure. So um, we're starting off here um, having pressed home already, which brings up the launcher bar. So a really, really nice, simple UI. Uh, where you can access um, various uh, applications. So on the front um, of the launcher bar, you'll get what traditionally will be the six most popular applications. So in the UK, they'll be slightly different to what you're seeing here. Um, but also you've got um, Today, which I'll take you through in a moment, which is a sort of lean back discovery experience, uh, access to live TV um, and the store as well. Um, so this is what we call kind of like the present. So in the background, you could be watching live TV um, and then also engaging with different smart TV services. And if you move to the left, you have your recently viewed. So everything on WebOS is treated as an application. So whether you're um, looking at content that's through a HDMI lead, which could be a Blu-ray player or a games console, for example, is treated as an application itself. So you can just jump straight in as if it was an app. Um, and then you can see different applications here themselves or, or different TV feeds. Uh, very easy to just jump into the what really would be not just recent, but probably your most favorite um, uh, content. So if I go back to the launcher, um, on the right hand side you'll find all the other applications that the user may have downloaded um, and not only um, are the applications all stored here on the right, um, there could be new applications that you've not seen yet which will be highlighted um, with a really nice um, image provided by the various content providers to give you a bit more um, of an idea of what that application might be. It might be that at some point we, we have videos here as well but um, for the moment it will just be really nice engaging um, images. So if I jump back to the launcher um, and let's go to Blu-ray. So this is now um, jump straight to the Blu-ray player. So if I just turn that down a little bit. Now one of the great things about WebOS is the simple switching. So wherever you are you can just jump to wherever you want to be. So you don't have to come out of a, of a feed or come out of a portal and look for something else. You can just jump to any, any, any content wherever you are. So let's say we'll jump through to Netflix. 
very, very quick as well, so it will instantly change. So again, playing on the strength of WebOS's multitasking capability. So I'm now in Netflix, um, but actually there's nothing here that I want to watch. So I bring up the launcher again and I can jump to Amazon, just like changing channels as you would on a traditional TV. It's a really, really nice um, experience. So if I go back to the launcher, and I want to have a bit of a lean back experience and have some content suggested to me, I can use the today section. So this is going to um, surface up some content based on what all the LG Smart TV users are watching at that particular point. Um, so it's selecting VOD TV shows and movies here. So if I just use the scroller, I can refresh this content. So it will display various services content. So it could be coming from Netflix or iPlayer for example, but if I wanted to be maybe a bit more engaged and actually look for something I can go to the LG store and this isn't, this isn't an app store, this is really a one stop shop for all of the content on the platform so you've got your live TV here which could be coming from your terrestrial tuner built into the TV or a set top box that so could be pulling through data from a, from a set top box provider. TV shows is uh, VOD content from the various providers on the platform. Um, surfacing up some options for you and likewise with movies and then we have a selection of some of the key um, applications in the app store that you may or may not have downloaded and then if you wanted to be a bit more specific you can drill right down to movies, TV shows, uh, live content etc etc um, and I can even jump straight through to the app store itself to really have a deep dive into what's available on the platform so again really fast to load, no lag when you're moving between different menus very easy to navigate Everything loads really fast. Very easy to jump around, go back to where you were. Again, very fast. And like anywhere else on the platform, I can just bring up the launcher and jump to wherever I want to go. So if I wanted to go back to um, the Blu-ray, I can just go to my recents and it will pick up play from where you were. Right. I've got to say, um I've seen a lot of smart TV platforms, that is easily the slickest, most intuitive I've seen today. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, it's very, 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 very nice. Thank you, Darren. Cheers.